Hey guys, so today I will be sharing with you my November TBR. If you watched my wrap up that I posted yesterday, you would know I had a pretty great October in that I read 14 books and you would also know why I'm kind of dressed a little bit less than I usually do. But if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail, I am being totally over ambitious this month. So for November, I have picked 17 books that I would like to read, but I have a reason for that. So I am a person that hates not finishing things. That's why I tend to rarely give up on a book just because I hate the not finishing things. So I went back through all of my TBRs from January to October and put aside all of the books that I said I was going to read and I never did. So those are the books that I will be reading in November and probably into December just because my work is going to be a little bit crazy busy, but I have learned to read a lot of audiobooks and that has helped me get through a lot of books, but I love coming home after a long day of work and just sitting and reading. So yeah, like I said, I'm being totally ambitious. I'm going to try and review as many of these as I can that I do actually read, but for the sake of this video and not being as long as my wrap up was, I'm just going to Tell you the books and in what month I mentioned them and how long I've been holding on to them because some of these are from like March and April which is just sad but yeah if you want to see whole plot descriptions you can check them out on Goodreads or in the TBR video that I posted for the corresponding month but I just don't want you guys to be here all day so let's get right into it. First things first before we get into the TBR actually our a year thon theme our second to last one for 2017 starts next Monday November 6th it starts at midnight as always in whatever time zone that you're in and our challenge for this one is to read an author that is new to you so this is reading a book by an author that you have never read before I have a few of these that could correspond to that challenge or to that readathon but the corresponding challenge is to read a duology which I don't think I'll be participating in. One, because I don't own a lot of duologies. And two, I already have 17 books on my TBR. So yes, if you will be participating in that readathon, make sure you join our group on Goodreads, which is always linked down below. And let me know what you'll be reading for that week. So yeah, now without further ado, let's get straight onto the TBR. So in March, I have two books that I said I was going to read and I never did. The first one is The New Hunger by Isaac Marion. This is the novella that goes with Warm Bodies as well as the sequel, The Burning World, which was sent to me to review. And I am really mad that I haven't gotten around to reading it yet because I swore I was gonna do better with review books. And this was one of my most anticipated books. So not sure why I haven't picked it up yet. But I did reread Warm Bodies, I think in January or February in anticipation of continuing on with this series. So I'm finally gonna do it. In April was our classics theme, and I said I was going to read The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath because I'd been wanting to read this book forever, and I haven't read it yet. In May, I said that I was going to read Cinder by Marissa Meyer so that I could continue on with the series because it is concluded and I've never read past this first book, but I do want to reread this one before continuing on. Still really want to do that. But I also said I was going to read We'll Never Be Apart by Yumiko Jean. So when I first picked up this book as a TBR book, it was as a library copy and so I wasn't going to count it in this video because I didn't own it when I first put it on my TBR but it is one that I still wanted to read and now I own it and I really want to get my TBR under 200 by the end of the year and this is short enough that I might just do it. In June I had two books that I didn't get to that is the recurring theme for most of the months this year is that I just didn't get to two books so maybe I need to shorten my TBR by two books for next year. But I wanted to read Take a Chance by Abby Glines, another series I have never continued on with. But this Rosemary Beach series is one that I really enjoy. And I think it's even concluded by now. So I just want to catch up and finish them because they are such quick, addicting reads that I don't know why I haven't picked it up yet. But I still want to read The Adjustment by Suzanne Young since this was, again, one of my most anticipated books of the year. This is the fifth book in the program series, which is one of my favorite young adult dystopian series. So disappointed that I haven't gotten to this one yet, but it is going to happen. July has two books as well. The Best Kind of Magic by Crystal Sateri, another one that was sent to me to review uh, from Disney Hyperion. So the sequel for this one was just announced and I'm really excited about it. I still am really excited about it. I know it's more contemporary and we're like in the wintry fall season, but I have to read it. It was sent to me to review and it sounds really cute. 
So, The Love Interest by Kale Dietrich. I have talked about this book in so many TBR videos and it is one that I am so excited to read that this better be the last time I talk about it. In August, I know I'd picked these two because I think our theme for Eirathon was middle grade. So Wonder by RJ Palacio. Still wanna read this. It's on my 17 books to read in 2017 list and I think this one is too. Furthermore by Tahira Mafi. I really wanna read this one before Restore Me comes out and I want to reread the Shadow Me series before Restore Me comes out. So I'm running out of time to read this one, but excited for both of these. And because they're middle grade, I think they're going to be really quick reads. September, the two books that I never got to were new releases. And that is The Dreadful Tale of Phosphor Redding by Alexandra Bracken, as well as They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. I think I'm most disappointed in myself that I didn't read these in September because I ran out the day they were released to buy them. And then I just sat and didn't pick them up. I was so excited that I needed to go out and get them that day but I never picked them up to read them. So kind of disappointed in myself for that because I should have just listened to my excitement and dove in right away, but I'm still excited and I'm gonna dive in in November. So the last four books are ones that I didn't get to in October, which sucks because I read 14 books in October and I had four carryover for my TBR, which means I need to stop straying from my TBR. So the first one is one that I don't have because I had to return it to the library because somebody else had a hold on it so I have to get it again and that is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare the first book in the Infernal Devices series yeah I'm gonna get to that one also Famous Last Words by Katie Allender this was the last one of the four that I had purchased as my spooky horror novels that I never got to and then the last two are of course the biggest ones that I want to read in November and will probably take me about half of November alone Dr. Sleep by Stephen King and It by Stephen King. I am still currently reading this as I mentioned in my wrap up. I am now about 200 pages in, so we're making progress. I still have all of my tabs going and you know, it, it's going, it's just, it's slow. <laughs> so I might put this down for a little bit just so that I can focus on more of these, but I do really wanna keep going with this. So these are all of the books that I would like to read in November. I'm really curious to hear which ones you guys think I will and won't get to or how many of them I'll get to. I don't think there are too many new releases coming out in November that I'm interested in. There is a new Rachel Hawkins one that came out in October that I wanna buy. But the problem is, and the reason that I wanted to do this video is I was so excited to read all of these books. And as a book blogger and a book buyer, I love to read and I love to collect more books and just like expand my collection. But I never die off of the excitement of most of these. But each month there's other ones that I think of that I want to read and like that take priority. So I feel like it's not fair for me to keep bumping these books off each month. So that's why I decided we're nearing the end of the year. I need to start catching up on all of the goals that I set for myself and kind of like take the books that went to the back burner and make them a priority again and then in December I can finish off the year with like holiday seasonal ones or ones that I was like I should have read this in 2017 and I didn't so yeah I'm kind of using November as like a lenient closure month to catch up on everything before the craziness of December hits but yeah I know I'm being really ambitious I am just really hoping that I don't hit a slump but there's also a lot of basketball games, so we'll see. Please let me know what you guys will be reading in November down in the comments, or if you've read any of the books that I talked about, make sure you let me know, or if you wanna see any reviews on them, let's just talk to me in the comments so that we can have conversations, because I love that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.